welcome back, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back to Lenise TV. Welcome back with another one. Yes, let's get into this reaction real quick with Dusty Dusty uh Duke, my Jazzy Life. Girl, let's get into this reaction, honey. But first I wanna say I hope everyone enjoyed their Thanksgiving. They pray. Today is Friday. Happy Friday. We out shopping, blowing them dollars to make you what? Holla. Anyways, let's get into this reaction real quick. Cause my daddy life decided to go live and talk about absolutely nothing and twisting people's words around that they did not say. You got so nerve. Quit coming on live when Chris not home, okay? We don't want to hear that. We don't care. That's why you getting played right now as we speak. You getting played and looking dumb in the house with Legendary. And ain't nobody there but you in motherfucking Legendary. I said what I said. Nobody said nothing about Kayla not having no birthday party. What are you talking about? We're talking about Amaya. Say her name, Amaya. We're talking about your second youngest daughter. What are you talking about? Why do you make stuff up? I get it, your boy. You're sitting at home while your boy out doing his thing. Shout out to Chris. Because you thought you had it all planned out. Oh, he's going to be gone for a week. And the kiss is going to be the four extra. It's going to be gone for a week. Yeah, it's going to be me, Chris, and Legendary. No, it's you and Legendary. Just you and Legendary. And you want to get on live and say that somebody's bullying your, your uh, one-year-old son? Ain't nobody bullying Legendary. Shut up. You sound dumb. They're talking about you. Stick to the topics. They're talking about you. Okay? Why in the hell would you and Chris be going half on your son's birthday party? Now, I could see if it was half on the Christmas, but he ain't did nothing for Legendary. He should have paid for the whole entire. But you know what? We know you paid for that. We just like when Chris came home and he and he brought that food. And you paid for that, too. Get the fuck out of here. Okay? Stop with the cap. Stop with the bullshit. And quit lying on people's name. Nobody talking bad about your kids. We're talking about you as a mother. We're talking about you, Jazz. Okay? That's why you got played yesterday. Yeah, you bought, you, you thought, and you, I noticed that. I don't know if y'all noticed that. Jasmine literally buys food to keep Chris home. You must have been home all day, and Chris decided to bring you your food. And he ignored you, playing the dog shit out of you every chance he get. And I am here for it. Yes, Chris, keep playing our ass. We don't care anymore. Play her till you can't play her no more. We are cheering you on, bro. Okay? You got to be the baddest pimp in the game. You are the baddest pimp baby daddy slash baby daddy that I know of. Okay? For real. He, what movie? Because that nigga don't want to watch no damn movie. That nigga get, getting ready to turn up with his homeboys and his friends. Okay? While you sit at home and take care of Legendary. Okay? Okay? <laughs> Yeah, just like that birthday party, just like after that birthday party, you notice, let you notice that Chris got in his truck with his two boys. He ain't come back home. You mad, mad? <laughs> and you want to come on? You got to come live, cause you mad, cause you mad, cause you over there getting played like Scooby on Scooby Snack. You deserve every bit of it, and don't nobody feel sorry for you. But what you not gonna do is come on here twisting people's words around and lying on folks, okay? Cause you're a horrible mother. You're getting everything you deserve. You deserve every bit of it, too. Okay? Karma is on their way for your ass. And I am... Look, he... When, he, when she kept, babe, what movie we're going to watch? Babe, have you ever said that nigga ignored the dog shit out of you? Okay? He act like you wasn't even there, honey. Okay? Okay? And you deserve it. You do. But don't lie on people. Don't lie on innocent people. We talking about you, not your kids, ho. Okay? Get that correct. Come by, I do everything. No, you don't. You treated them kids like shit for years before Philip got out of jail. You didn't give a damn about a birthday party. None of that. You don't even take your daughters to get their nails done. It only costs $10 to put some polish on their nails. You don't do nothing for your kids. And I said what I said. You only got money for Chris and only Chris. Okay? But you broke every other time when it come down to doing for your kids. So go on and put that Christmas list up, you broke bitch. Because we know you're going to do that any fucking ways. Okay? 
Mm-hmm. And I said what I said, and I don't care that you want to come over here and run your motherfucking mouth because you're at home, boy, and that nigga don't want to be around you. And then stop putting the nigga on live. Why do you keep putting the nigga on live? He rolling his eyes and looking at you like you stank. He be running, he be, his nose be up at the ceiling like you stank, my nigga. Yeah, girl, bye. Shut up. I was waiting to ask the Thanksgiving to bite that ass. Because you deserve it. You deserve it. No one feels sorry for you. The way you treat your kids is it's absolutely unacceptable. And I said what I said. So you sit up there talking about, oh, my God, they're dragging my son. I'm like, son, my son. You just couldn't say Amaya's name, right? You just couldn't say Amaya's name. Why is that? Amaya is not a stepchild, but you score up and down. You treat her like she is. Yeah, did you make it to your mama house for Thanksgiving? <laughs> no, she didn't make it to her mama house for Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's why she came on live mad as hell. And second of all, those Thanksgiving videos is old as shit, for one. You didn't do shit on Thanksgiving. Let's just be real. You went out and bought some fucking food. And I feel like that's your way to get Chris to your house is to tell him to go get some food. And you cash out him the money. You're the fucking idiot. Do you ever get your change back? Do you ever get the change back? Or Chris pocket that shit too? Huh? I just want to know. I'm not mad at Chris. I done told y'all this before. We're over it. She love it. We like it. She like it. We love it. It is what it is. Okay? You deserve it. You thought you had this all planned out. <laughs> you at home looking stupid. I bet you he with you today. If you go live today and Chris with you, it's Black Friday. Chris trying to get his, his whatever he can get and finesse for the finesse. And guess what? We are here for it. We here for it, boo. We here for it. You made casserole. That shit look nasty as fuck. Look, that whole food was disgusting, okay? <laughs> I know you mad that Mama Deuce wasn't cooking. I know you mad. <laughs> you, <laughs> Mama Deuce ain't fucking with you. She ain't messing with you. She already told you what it was, okay? You deserve everything that's happening to you. You really thought you were going to put some cute videos up of you, Kristen Legendary. And Chris said, no, ma'am. He finna go hang out with his other baby mama and his other friends and family. Yeah, that nigga was rushing up out that door after he dropped that food off and ignored your ass. And you deserve it. You deserve it. Hey, you deserve it. And we ain't mad. But don't lie on the reactors, okay? Stop lying on us. We're talking about you as a piss poor mother that you are. Are. Okay, okay. I'm broke when it come to my kids, but anytime Chris asks me for anything, I got it. I got it handy. I even pay his insurance. Good, you're a fucking idiot, is what you is. Okay, and I got a message, so stay tuned because I got a message towards the end of this video. Make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe. And again, thank you for all the support y'all been giving me. Make sure you thumbs up this live, honey, girl. Anyway, peace. I'm out. <laughs>